going on, good people? You already know you're here with the boy Wrench Turner. And uh, you see what I'm standing in front of. It's a beautiful specimen of a car. But before we get into this whip, let me go ahead and let you know. This video is being brought to you by the good folks at Voss and Bridges. <laughs> Hit that link. And uh, copy some merch, man. Also, this video is being brought to you by the good people at Durham's Auto Mall. See down there. You already know what to do. Um, and today, we have a 2010 Camaro SS. Big boy status. Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. Let's back up right quick. Because I want you to get this, this mean grill. You know, a lot of people have bought this car based on the grill. Because it is so aggressive. And for those of you that bought this car before, you already know about the big massive rims on it. 275, 40, 20s, all the way around. Complete grippage. The beautiful inside of the car. For the inside of this vehicle, I mean, I like how the interior is. I like the nostalgic gauges, the, the nostalgic cluster. It's analog, like the only the only digital thing in this whole dash is the radio. Cut. So you have your radio, you have your analog gauges, your Boston audio system. You got your, your holes in your doors for anything you want to put in there, your compartments. Your glove compartment is, is kind of big. <clears throat> uh, with this one, you have no sunroof. Um, I like how they did the tent. The tent comes down to where it's supposed to come down at. And you have your on the fly shifting, you have your controls on the steering wheel. Steering wheel feels really good too. It's it's not like a pencil, you know, like some steering wheels you grab and it's like it's really really small. This one not so much. Um it feels good like <clears throat> I wouldn't even want to put a um a steering wheel cover on it because it, it feels good like it, it's not like it has Alcantara on it or anything, but it still feels good and For your doors you already know that you have your controls on your door for your mirror and both of your windows and Your trunk pop is right there big Boston audio premium audio system And so, as we get into more of this 2010 Camaro SS, as you see with the gas pop, it, this is commonplace now. Push in, push out. There's no real door lock on it unless you lock your car. When you lock your car, it locks the, um, the gas cap too. So, just going back around to the back. Your little trunk space is, is not a lot of trunk space. You know, most people that know about Camaros know it doesn't have that much trunk space. Um, I wish it kind of had more trunk space, but what do you expect to get with a real sports car? You're not going to get a lot of trunk space, regardless if it was a Porsche, Audi, whatever may have you. You don't get a lot of trunk space when you get a sports car. And I'm pretty sure you guys want to hear that cold star, huh? <laughs> So you guys that 
Chevy in general, you guys, a lot of you guys know the long-standing relationship that Camaros have had with the public. I mean, even back to the 60s and 70s. So <clears throat> when it comes down to a newer model, you know, Chevy really had to deliver. And with the SS, they delivered. Let's get ready to go up under the hood. Yeah, so let's talk about the beef. You know, where's the beef, right? <laughs> well, the beef is under the hood. Big V8. Um, I forgot exactly how many horses this thing was putting out. But uh, it's not your grocery good, I can definitely tell you that much. And when you step on it, you automatically know that you're not driving a V6. And I like how the panels have been color-coded to match the paint of the car. <clears throat> and of course, this thing could use a, a K&N because it still has the OEM air setup on it. Yep. And the, um, the difference between this and a V6 is a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Let's get ready to get into the drive. Grab my shades out of here. Um, so yeah, another thing about the interior is, you know, the carpeting. Carpeting is, is decent, you know, it's like regular normal carpet. I like how they put the, the Chevy name on the side. I forgot to tell you about the uh, traction control. Yeah, they got that as a real big button for you right there. And then you have your inside cubby with your USB. And then you also have a, a port for your phone in there also. Your backspace back here is not really that much space. Um, you know, you know what to expect from a sports car. And me being as tall as I am, I know you definitely couldn't expect to be sitting behind me. Big V8, baby. Woo! Oh yeah, she ready, ready. Let's go this way. up to the gets up to the speed limit pretty fast <laughs> you know I don't be riding around speeding and all that <clears throat> now I hope you guys really like this review because uh, I really like this car man this car is real sexy to it, that aggressiveness. You know, of course, this is something you want to come through in. making noise and your ass is going somewhere real quick. But 
So, this is your 2010 Camaro SS by Chevy. Overall, it's a fun car. It's a good car. I, I, I don't have many quarrels about it. Um, I like how it drives. I like how it sounds. I like how it looks. I like how it handles. Um, the only thing it doesn't have that I would want on here would have probably been a sunroof. Uh, you know, as far as aftermarket parts and stuff goes, I would I would lean towards the can in just so it can bring in more air. You bring in more air, you can make more power. Um, the rims, you know, we have so many different options when it comes down to aftermarket rims. So I can't even recommend a rim that I would say would go good on this. Like, as long as it's something that's staggered and you got you a deep lip in the back, you working in your favor. Regardless of what situation you're in, regardless of who it is, regardless of where it is, step outside of yourself, look at yourself, and know how you would want to be projected. Say to yourself, self, this is not what I want to be doing right now. And you got to pull it together. Because somebody seeing you being outside of yourself could be the very first time that they meet you. And you know what they say about first impressions, right? So, until the next time, be positive, speak positive, and no matter where you at or what's going on in that day or in that moment, look at people, smile, and wish them a nice day. Until next time, people.